It is Monday the 30th of December, it's still early-ish, quarter to ten it is, and I'm here with another floss tube video. I'm so sorry I didn't film last month, um, excuses time, I was just, I just didn't feel up to it at all. Um, I mean anybody who makes these videos knows like what an effort it is to make one, but with having all my problems and chronic fatigue and I just really really struggle um, when I've done a video like this and then edited it and it wears me out and the rest of the day I'm usually asleep <laughs> it really takes a lot out of me and I just didn't feel up to it this month uh, last month rather um, but I wanted to get to you before the end of the year so here I am sorry about my hair it's still wet um, no hot water upstairs at the moment and I can't get an engineer out until the 2nd of January so my friends just like washed it over the sink downstairs this morning for me um, so it is clean it just doesn't look very nice so because I just I like to if I can help it I like to like not put heat on my hair because it's just because I usually straighten it all the time it's just really anyway this isn't about hair is it this is about stitching so that's the hair sorted right okay um not really got that much stitching wise to show you because um my stitchy bug has been on around the world trip i think and he's not flown he's taken the long way he's either gone by boat or he swam because he's been away for an awful long time i think i think i think i can hear him i think he's not so far off um so i've not really got that much to show you Saying that, for somebody who doesn't like new starts, I've had three new starts. <laughs> so my whip count, which I've been trying to get down all year, is now back up to six. Although one of them's a really quick thing, which if I spent a day on it, I could probably get it finished. One of them is like a monthly series, which I'll show you, and I'm a month behind. And another thing is like a year long thing. So anyway first of all um, I drew um, a winner for my giveaway on my last video and then the prize was one of these beautiful scissor fobs from Kerry at Creative Curator I always want to say creations but Creative Curator you see how beautiful it is I actually gave to I couldn't say on any of my videos because my friend Anne watches hi Anne um, but I did get my friend Anne and my mum um, like a custom made fob as well and they absolutely loved them so they are and I love mine um, it's, they are so beautiful um, so I did a YouTube a random comment picker just before I started the video and the winner is Moonbow Eve I have commented on your comment um, so if you could get back to me, I'll put my email address in the box below. Um, if you could also let me know your favourite colour and your fabric of choice. Put some of the little goodies in there for you as well. But thank you everyone for going and checking out Kerry's Etsy page. I will put the link again in the box. Um, yeah, she's just so nice. She really is. She sent, she sent me a Christmas card. Never had a Christmas card from Australia before. And it was so cool. It had like Santa at the barbecue and everything, you know, like we're used to like all winter scenes and there was a nice summery scene with Santa at the barbecue. Oh, I loved it. Thank you, Kerry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, right. So that's that. Well, we'll get on to the stitching, but don't get excited. There's not really that much to show you. I didn't touch um, my Haid at all. Um, mini butterfly pink, so... I'm not going to have to show you. I did a teeny, teeny tiny bit on my Mirabilia. It's hardly worth showing you, but I will do just for the sake of showing you. But this is the Mirabilia I'm doing. It's Queen of Peace, which I've had kitted up for almost 20 years. I'm finally doing it. Um, I have to remember what it is I've even done. It's that long ago. Well, the needle's still in, so that's handy. So I know I worked a bit on this bow down here, I think I did some of that and I've 
started up there but yeah not really much to show you but but there she is anyway the fabric is a 32 count Murano by Chromatic Alchemy the colour can't remember but I will tell you because it is all in my X Stitch app it's a beautiful beautiful fabric beautiful colour um, I'm opening every app apart from X Stitch here we go X Stitch app journal started it only says I've got five here but I know I've definitely got six on the go Queen's Peace Polynesium by Chromatic Alchemy I had it somewhere yeah um, so that's that. Now, the other ones are all new starts. So this is sort of sort of um, collection enhancements, not stash. Um, plus <laughs> new starts, plus whips, plus everything else. So the first one, I've actually got two in here. The first one, it was from... No, it's not in that bag. That's another one. It's in, this is part of my stash. I got the, uh, I tell you, it's that, I, I know I've said it on a previous video, that time in a, in a woman's life when things stop and the memory leaves, you know. Um, it's on the label here, Evertote. <laughs> Sorry, Carolina Evertote. I got the, her, her Christmas kit. Um, well, a holiday kit. Oh, it, it's so good. But this is the bag. The kit. Oh, and there was a little uh, stitch mark of Christmas tree, but I've used it as, as a couple. Um, but yeah, it was this. Um, I've not got a picture to show you, I don't think. But it came out of the Lakeside Needle Craft winter cross stitch book which oh my gosh is worth every single penny if you haven't got it and you like to stitch christmas or winter buy this book it is absolutely amazing i can't do a flip through because um there's like charts on the pages um i'm i should see i'm not prepared i should have got picture ready before but I didn't and also because the patterns are nice and big and it's A4 size which is just perfect for sticking under your, your printer photocopying and printing out so it's absolutely oh, but it's just it's just the nicest book I think it's the best winter book I've ever bought I love winter patterns because I would do nearly everything in it ah, here it is now this one is by Peppermint Purple, who I love Peppermint, I have done pe um, Peppermint Purple patterns before. Um, she does mainly black work patterns and I, lo I love a bit of black work, but she's so good. The way she uses her colour, because it's not just black work obviously, the way she uses her colour in it and oh, brilliant. But anyway, this is the one I'm doing, it's the Merry Christmas. Now I'm doing it on, it's a piece of random 28 count um fabric but i know it's by pole stitches but i don't know the color or anything but i think in the dyeing process it shrunk because this is not 28 count and to be honest it's too small some of the patterns look fine but one of the patterns which is quite intricate you can't really see it but this is what i've done and you see that pattern is just too small and um, I mean, it's really, there's not that much more to do. I'm so close to finishing, but I've not touched it in, in weeks. It was meant to be done for Christmas. But I mean, I've only got that little tiny bit there. There's some cross stitch baubles, some outlining and the Merry Xmas underneath and that's all. And, that, and that, that'll be finished. But I do love black work. I really love it. I find it so relaxing. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's that one. Um... Yeah, I was going to show you this this book in my stash, but obviously, but no, just honestly, if if you like winter books, because there's she approached quite a lot of people for for patterns, and um, like there's even like Joan Elliott's in here, like Leslie Tia, Maria Diaz, Lucy Heater, Nora Corbett has done one, Northern Expressions Needlework, Clouds Factory, 
Climbing Goat Designs, which is another designer I really like, who's a UK designer. Doreen Jones, Ingleside Imaginary and Brittany. Buy this book. Buy it. Comes on personal recommendation. And I'm not being paid to say that, by the way. I bought my copy. In fact, I pre-ordered it months and months ago when she first... Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be this big, but it's, you know, because it's on a ring binder. Uh, it's on rings rather it's brilliant as well because you can open it out but so it's great for just like i've got my printer next to me here just stick it underneath and run a copy off buy this book <laughs> but, uh, right um next whip which is also in here i started a mini series now i've been fighting against this for the past few years but i finally caved it's the country cottage needleworks ones and I am doing Snow Village and I'm doing it on auto ship through Patchwork Rabbit. So I've got my first one. The second one has also come, which I've just had in my hot little hand. Oh, here it is. Um, Skate and Sled Shop, but I've not started that one yet. Sorry about the glare. Um, and I believe there is another one out now, but I'm sort of like a month behind, but then still I've not finished that yet. I've not touched this again in weeks. Um, but the fabric, X Stitch app again, Snow Village, 32 count opal, can I, I can't pronounce this, Cumulitis Murano. It's chromatic alchemy again. Oops. And this is my little snowman needle minder. This is where I'm up to at the moment so I've got um, there's only really like the the white left to do with the snowmen you know I say that you know like it, it's gonna take you know two seconds to do but we all know that that's not true it's gonna take a lot longer than that um, then the next one I believe the, this the skate and sled shop I believe goes here um, so yeah so that was another new start that I wasn't intending to do. Oh, the, the Christmas bag, uh, winter holiday bag, sorry, came with a little notions pouch as well. So, yeah. I'll show you some of the other stuff that came with it as well when, when we get to my collection enhancements. Um, so that goes back in there. I'm putting everything back. I know people don't like it sometimes when you do that, but just with the amount of effort it takes me it just cuts down on a little bit afterwards obviously I've got my cross stitch junkie today I've got coffee today I'm normally a tea drinker but um as part of was one of my little Christmas presents my brother and sister-in-law gave it was um this Colombian coffee coffee bags you know like tea bags but coffee bags so I just had my first one this morning it's a bit weaker than I would normally have I must admit so I won't put as much milk in next time what That's cold then, because but it still goes down. Right, so then my other new start, which I only started yesterday in this one. I've not brought the pattern up. I could have sworn I had done, but I haven't. Right, so sorry. That was an appointment reminder to remind me that my engineer is coming about my hot water on Thursday. So yeah, don't worry. I'm not going to forget. Um, so yeah, so my other new start... Um, I'm doing the temperature garden by um, Stitching Mommy, Sarah. Um, I will put a picture of it here. I'm doing the high-low version, I've decided. And I wanted to, to just try and get as much done, you know, not, well, not border because it's not got a border, but as much of the extra stitching done as I could so I started it yesterday had to do a bit of frogging last night why is it I don't know if anybody else is the same but I know I am and I know my mum is that just before you're about to pack in and come to bed you find a mistake so I then spent an I spent I think a total of two hours which no an hour and a half maybe unpicking and restitching because I can't go to bed knowing there's, there's a mistake and I, I have to I just have to do it 
Um, <laughs> yeah, so the fabric, once again, um, don't know, it's, it's not Chromatic Alchemy this time, it is Jodry Designs. I know it's the 2017, oh, after, yeah, I've remembered it, it's the 2017 limited edition, uh, club edition, I think, it's um, called After the Rain, that's it, and it's 28 count Opal Brittany. Hi Mikey, that's Mikey, Mikey saying hello, are you coming up? Come to say hello, are you coming? Um, and this is where I got to yesterday. Oh, that's a needle minder on there. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, that's where I got to yesterday. It's bigger than I thought, and I've not left myself much border there, but it'll be fine. It'll all be fine. But yeah, that's where I got to yesterday. So I am going to carry on with that today because I want to try and get as much of it done before it actually starts um, in the new year. So that is what I've been working on. I don't know where Mikey's gone there, but oh, he's left me. Um, oh yeah, Kitty Crew news update. I'm down another kitty, but good this time. Well, I'll say good. I'm missing like mad. But Mackerel, who was my big tabby, my beautiful boy, um, he was getting, excuse me, oh, I'll pick them up after. He was getting picked on a lot by the other cats and he was very, very nervous. It was making him ill. Um, I've been trying for 18 months to find him a home. I finally found the perfect home for him and he, he went um, only last Saturday, so it's like eight days ago now, nine days. Um, oh, but it's just a perfect home. Um, I wanted a quiet home for him where he was the only cat um, and he's actually gone living with a 75 year old man, a very very fit and active 75 year old man, he still plays badminton twice a week um, and he lost his last cat two years ago and it's taken him this long to feel that he was ready for another one and he wanted a lap cat and I'm like yeah Mackerel's definitely a lap cat, he never leaves you. Um, but yeah he's just absolutely perfect he's settled in so well um i spoke to the gentleman who's got him yesterday and he said he's been tearing around the house having mad half hours and even though he's vegetarian he's got him like a bit of meat for treats and and this this that and the other and yeah he's he's great and he's been sat on his lap and you know i, I think as good as bob Oh, sorry, Bob is his name. <laughs> as good as good as he is for mackerel, I think mackerel's also good for him, you know. And yeah, it's you know for both of them, it's just worked out perfectly. So I miss him like mad, but you know I had to love him enough to let him go, and he's in the best place definitely. So uh, my other kitty crew member who wasn't doing so well is Andy. I mean, I was told back in it was the summer. Um, that basically he had FIP, there wasn't anything they could do with him. He's fine. <laughs> he's absolutely fine. Um, yeah, he's he's not lost any weight, he's eating, drinking. He does have the occasional bouts of vomiting, like we had one bad day last week where he vomited a lot, but, you know, he's still as crazy as ever, you know. Um, and he's fine, so touch wood either the diagnosis was wrong or he's just gonna maintain the way he is for as long as possible so yeah anyway that was a bit of a, a segue so yeah that's all my whips anyway I've no finishes oh mum has a finish surprise surprise because you know she just absolutely churns these things out like you wouldn't believe I did take some video it was a while ago but I will try and find it and insert it here mum's here Hi. <laughs> with yet another finish yeah. because she just has needles that are on fire <laughs> she stitches that quick but this is well it's just called your my forget, forget me, not me nots yeah. my forget me nots because this was a photograph taken by Emmy 
mum's granddaughter, obviously, um, charted by me and stitched by her. And it's a flower that obviously grew in her garden. Yes, it's one of my forget-me-nots. Yeah. yeah, and you love forget-me-nots, forget don't you? Because yeah. as well as Daisy's, yeah. the, the mum's favourite flower. So yeah, so we're quite quite pleased with that. I mean, it's been a learning experience for me. Yeah, there's a few me. things we changed. Yeah, yeah, but um, but you know, all considered, I think it's turned out yeah. well, hasn't it? And tell them how long it took you. A week under two months. <laughs> it's just absolutely <laughs> amazing. I'm, and she's like, oh, I don't seem to be getting on with this cross stitch, you know. Mm. How many pages? Was it nine? Nine. Nine yeah, pages nine in. Pages. Nine pages in under two months, yeah. yeah. No, she's a really slow stitcher. <laughs> so, yeah, another finish. And what are you on to next, Mum? Um, what's it? Oh, Bluebells. Well, it's called Bluebells in Wood. And which it, is it, a, it's like a wood it, that's just, it's all green trees with bluebells underneath the trees. And it's it got a special me meaning, hasn't it? it? Where I come from. Yeah. Yes. And I bought it for a 70th, so it's got that special meaning, doesn't it? And it has, yeah. Is it an artsy or a mystic um, stitch? Or someone else? It's a mystic stitch, I think. Do you know, I can't remember. Mm. Yes, it's mystic stitch because there's no, there's no, mm. um, Carryovers on the lines. But you prefer like Mystic Stitcher Artsy over Hay, don't you? I do now, yes, yeah. yes, I do, because I think they look more yeah. natural. Really. Yeah, because to be honest, seeing what mum's done, I think I do as well. Because yeah. they have, I mean, the way that they chart their photographs into stitching, oh. and then the way the stitching turns out, because yeah. I mean, obviously, mine, well, mum, the one mum's got here is one that I changed from a photograph. Yeah. And it doesn't look anywhere near as good as if Mystic Stitch had done no, it, but no. it was I'm still pleased with it. Yeah. So there we go, another finish for Mum. So if you haven't seen the video, I'm sorry, <laughs> um, but I will also insert some pictures here. So um, that was, well, it, it was one, one of my um, patterns that I charted. It was a photograph taken by my niece, Emmy. I charted it, mum did it, um, obviously. Um, yeah, so she's now working on, I think it's a Mystic Stitch. Yeah, I always get mixed up between Mystic Stitch and Artsy. I think it's a Mystic Stitch and it's called Bluebells in the Wood. And it was um, one that I bought her for her 70th birthday um, because it reminds her of home because of like where my mum comes from. It's like nowhere near here where my mum comes from. But there used to be a lovely, well, well there used to be it's still there, um, top of a hill, this beautiful wood, woodland area, Dinmore. And there was always like bluebells everywhere, you know, in, in the spring and everything. And it just reminds her like of home. So she's doing that. Um, so shall we get on to collection enhancements? There is a lot. I have to say, things are changing, things have to change. The collection enhancements have to stop, or have to be drastically cut back anyway. I'm stopping my Fabric of the Month clubs, which I'm really sad about, but I've got fabric coming out of my ears I really don't need anymore. Um, yeah, so I'm having to make cut back, so yeah. I did get one stitchy item for Christmas because I don't tend to get stitchy items for Christmas because, you know, other than my mum, people don't really know your taste, you know, my taste and this, that and the other. Um, and also, I don't really need anything. <laughs> so, but mum just got me, the, it's just a little gift. It's an embroidery, actually. A Zodiac embroidery, stitch your sign. And I've not even opened it yet, but it's got... A miniature embroidery hoop, three pieces of navy blue cloth, three embroidery needles, three skeins of gold embroidery floss. That'll be fun. Um, a 12, pat 12 pattern sheets, one for each sign, and a 32 page mini book. Shall we open it up and see what's inside it? So, I've never embroidered before, but I'm quite sure I could do. Um, it says age is seven and up, and I'm in my 40s, so <laughs> I'm sure that. I should manage. Oh, oh gosh, it is a, a mini hoop. <laughs> a little tiny hoop, and 
that's the the gold stuff oh my gosh that is tiny tiny god knows what account that is about 102 count I think fabric that's tiny um oh look those are all your your signs see let's find mine there's mine that's Taurus so that's mine and what's in this little book the ins and outs of embroidery and astrology okay that's just telling you how to embroider and it's telling you about the signs <laughs> the bull that's me dependable patient realistic steady stubborn controlling and rigid i wouldn't say i'm controlling definitely stubborn definitely stubborn I'm quite patient. I'm the same controlling. Anyway, so I did get that for Christmas. <sighs> Other bits. Are you ready for this? I'm sorry about the sun. It's morning and the craft room gets all the sun in the morning. Right. <laughs> now, some of these I ordered a long time ago. Let's get all the fabric out first. It's going to be fun going through this because I've forgotten what half of it is because it's been in this bag every time I get an enhancement I stick it in my bag ready to show you and then forget all about it so yeah this will be fun right fabric <laughs> there's a lot of it Jodry designs Jodry designs Jodry designs where's my chromatic alchemy set? oh there wasn't one last month that was why yeah chromatic alchemy she had a break she's just been struggling with things I think and had a break last month so there was no chromatic alchemy so it's all jodery designs so let's have a look which are the limited editions what's the year of rainbows so the november was centaur magic it's 28 count opal britney 18 by 26 and that was the thread of the month that comes with it you know me i don't take them out of the bags i'm sorry but i would never get them back in and then the December one is Christmas Elf, nice green, and the, that's the, the thread that goes with it. I'm going to miss my fabric of the month. Then the rainbow, the year of rainbows, was, yeah, um, the November one was purple, my favourite colour, purple. Um, again, 28 count Opal Brittany, 18 by 26. The December was grey, which is a really useful colour. Um, 28 count Opal Brittany, 18 by 26. Again. And then you got a bonus one. If you did the club all year, you got a bonus one. So she's thrown in a piece of 28 count Opal Brittany. This is 13 by 18 kaleidoscope and it's such pretty colour. In fact, that's quite true. It's a little bit more greeny than it's showing on there where the blues are, but it's quite true to me. It's really beautiful. So that's my fabric that can be added to the. So, oh, it's all 28 count, by the way. I don't know whether I said. Then, some wool. I've not done any knitting or crochet either, but I've got some wool. This came from an indie dyer called Sheepish Fibre Art on Etsy. And these are all... Well, this one is... It's a BFL Silk Double Knit. And it's it's fifty five percent blue faced Leicester. I don't know what that is. And forty five percent silk. And the colourway is Heartbreaker two, and it's hand dyed. And that's actually looking very purple, but it's more pinks and greys. But it is beautiful, and it feels so soft. And then, oh my God, this colour is amazing. Um, it's the same. You know, 55% blue face Leicester, 45% silk. Um, again, it's a double knit, and this one's called Caribbean Queen. Look at that. That is quite true. It's a colour. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah. And then this one, it's got a bit of sparkle in it, and it's extra fine merino silk and sparkle, another double knit. 
and it's called A Classy Shade of Grey. And I don't know whether... You would have thought with the sunlight it might pick up the sparkle, but the sparkle, it's just a hint of sparkle. But no, it's not really showing it. But And also the, the, that's not showing a great colour. It's a bit more sort of greeny grey than it's showing there. But it's so nice. You know, that's for all the knitting that I'm going to do, as well as everything else. So that was that. Oh, there's Andy. Are you going to come and say hi? We were just talking about you. Looks half asleep. Yeah, he's just having a look what's on the floor. Right, then. Oh, I got this from eBay. It came from America. I saw it on... I think it was Cross Stitch with Luda's video, but I could be wrong. And it's uh, a gold collection petite because I have so many. My gold collection, I thought I had a really big one, which I have, but it's nothing like <laughs> like hers is. But yeah, this one is called Playing Playing with the Trimmings, Little Kittens Under the Christmas Tree. And it's a pull kit, on, you know, brand new. And that came from America because I couldn't find any in this country. And then I placed an order with <sighs> I can't find the name. I know I've got an email from her on my emails, funnily enough. Um I'd already placed this order before the last video, but it took a while to come because it came from Russia. Uh da da da, da down here. Yeah. See, that was it. Macresticom, that was it. It came from Macresticom. And, oh, her Etsy shop is beautiful. It's totally my aesthetic, totally. Hence why I did such a ridiculously big order. It, it, this, it's crazy. This is absolute craziness. Another gold collection. <laughs> and that, oh, I'm so, sorry about the blur. Look at that, that is so pretty. Hummingbirds, I love hummingbirds. Four hummingbirds, five hummingbirds on it. That is so pretty. Oh, that's called hummingbird wreath. And then I also saw like another floral wreath and I couldn't decide between the two. So I bought both. And this is the other one. And when the the picture on uh, her Etsy shop, it's just so bright and colourful, and it's so pretty. Cause in fact, look at the colours, so pretty. So it's on sixteen count Ada. Can't really tell you much else about it. What, it's called the Triumph of Flowers. It's called, but it's so pretty. Um, did this one come from there? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll show that one after. I'm not sure. Um, oh, this is another one. It's all in Russian, this one, so I can't tell you the, the name of it. But it's just like a little row of cats. I wouldn't do it on the blue, personally. But I thought it was cute. And it's even got like lace. You can see it in there, the, the lace lace trimming. But it's got like, um, like a pale blue there. Oh, I'm just coming to say hi. doing really well aren't you? Let's see what's going on here. Come here. Oh, it says I'm going to hold on to everything. No, obviously not. <laughs> right, uh, next one is, oh, this one. This so cute as well. Look at this. Again, I can, um, can I tell you what it's called? Kittens for all. Um, and I did ask her what it said in the middle, and she said the literal translation was something like something about something about cats, my treats, or something. But you could put anything in the middle there, you know. You could even perhaps make that that little thing a bit bigger and just put that in the middle. But I just thought it was really cute. Forgot that. Mm. Oh, this. oh, this is so cute. 
Again, I can't tell you who it's by and I can't tell you what it's called. But it's just a little tiny hedgehog. Because <laughs> my mum loves hedgehogs, so it'll just make me think of my mum, but that was just so cute. Um, again, it's, it's a full kit. Um, what size Ada? I don't know, but it looks like 14 count, but obviously you can do it on anything. And then this one, just a little tiny one, is um, a grumpy cat bookmark because I love grumpy cat I did do oh and one of my other favourite cats little bub she died unexpectedly but I was I was really upset <laughs> about little bub dying but of course grumpy cat died earlier on in the year so this one I can't remember if I got it from a crusty or if I got it from somewhere else and I don't even know whether I've already got it in fact I should check It'll be right above my head if I have but let's just have a quick look on the X stitch app because if I have got it then this is going to end up being a giveaway because I'm, I'm just crazy like this and I seem to buy things without looking first but I guess we've all done that haven't we dimensions but it's not on there so I don't think I've got it and it's not it's not on my X stitch app and yeah, because I love the winter scenes as well, and that's sweet memories. But I can't remember where I got that from. I might have come off eBay that, thinking about it. I love the colours in the sky. It's beautiful. We're getting there. We're getting there. Right. Um, I've got some more. Um, more. My thread of the month club that I'm doing with um, Lakeside Needlecraft is the week's dye works ones. I haven't sorted them out yet but I've got all those to sort out and I have paid for another lot since. So because the idea is is that like you have a certain amount every month and then at the end of the year you have a full set. So I did that with the DMC and I'm now doing it with week's dye works. Um, I've got a few Oh, I bought the, some of these from Lindy Stitches, some of those sticker plates, you know, that you, you put on the back of your work. So I got those from, from Stephanie. Oh, and she sent with it, um, is it two free patterns, I think? Go and look, it's like a signed pattern from Steph. That is so cute, and that's the one I think it was at StitchCon last year. So I'll definitely be doing that. But it's like I've got her autograph. And I'm not sure whether this one came with that or not, but it's, it is a Linda Stitch one. It's a Jane Austen coat. I have no notion of loving people by halves. That's Speaking of Linda Stitches, can't show it you. I haven't got it, but in her, in the club bag from Brain, Brain, Evertotes, um, there was a beautiful little pattern from, um, from Stephanie, um, it's called, oh, something about rooftop, and it, oh, that's gone as well. <laughs> Um, it is now on her shop. Caroline had it um, exclusively for two weeks, um, but it is now in, in Stephanie's shop and it is really cute. Um, there was also like a wooden, I've not got it all in here, I could have sworn it was all in here, but there was like a wooden Christmas tree um, thread keep as well that came with it. But where did that come from? I can't remember who that came from. But that, that was a free little pattern Oops. from Hands On Designs, just saying Mary. And I can't remember who it came from because I'm just so bad. Yeah, we are nearly there, people. We are nearly there. Um, now, I've had a bit of a backlog of my planter stitch needle minder of the month. So, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, and then I did an extra order as well. So these ones came with a needle minder of the month. Got some lips and some little, little frog. I love the frog. Um, a poinsettia. So that one's a sparkly poinsettia. 
and then I placed an order because you know I need more needle minders and I think I've already got that one haven't I? I'm sure I saw it on here yesterday oh no I haven't right um, got purple unicorn poop beautiful sparkly butterfly that would look nice on my uh, temperature guard and that um, blue octopus because it's cute and a zebra because I have Ellis Danlos syndrome and the, the symbol for Ellis Danlos syndrome is a zebra so and then blue whale to go with the octopus and look at the little koala bear cute and I also got um, where is it I got in my order a golden ticket which meant that I'd won um, a grime guard of my choosing so I've chosen a grime guard and that will come with my next order and that is it we are empty it's just ridiculous isn't it but like I say it's gonna have to stop so things need to change so yeah so plans try and find my stitcher bug is the main plan um, I want to complete, well I'll do as much as possible pre-stitching on the temperature garden before that starts in the new year. Um, I want to finish that little Christmas tree. I want to get up to date with the snow village and then if I've got time <laughs> somewhere I want to carry on with my Mirabilia and my Haid. So not much really. Yeah. But I think that's it. Oh, the only other thing. Um, on my giveaway from October, um, which was for this, um, the person who won, which I think was Brit Girl Friday, hasn't yet got in touch with me. Um, so, I know, I mean, personally, I'm, I'm two months behind on FlossTube. I've got over about 430 videos in my, like, watch later list. Um, so... I will give her another month and when I film my next video if she still hasn't contacted me then I will redraw and somebody else hopefully will get the chance of winning it because she's so lovely and she's me. Yeah. Right, okay, so that's that. Um and there's now absolute chaos here. So I'm going to tidy this up, go into edit, then just try and stay awake <laughs> and do some stitching. But I hope you all have had a lovely Christmas. And oh, 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 I've just got one <laughs> quickly. Um, Wild Violet cross stitch um, on Etsy. I ordered two things from her not not on not on Etsy I can't remember what the website is I got them from but I will find it and link it below um, I ordered this one shelter cats are the best breed because of course they are and then this I got for my carer because she loves Paris anything to do with Paris and it's like a luggage label yes so those are the other things it's one of those sites where like the patterns are free but then you can pay if you want, you know, as much as you think the patterns are worth. So I think I think I paid 10 Australian dollars for this one. And I think for for this one, from what I can remember, but I could be wrong with that. But yeah. Um and I'm I'm on her the mailing list because she did a free um Koala Biscornu for the uh, Mittagong Stitchers re Retreat and I love it and I really really want it um, but it's not on her shop at the moment but from from what I've found out from my sources I believe it will be at some point so I'm on the mailing list for that because it's just so cute yes and I love anything to do with Australia anything and of course oh it's just heartbreaking at the moment with all the bushfires down there and I mean, all the people that have been displaced, but it's the wildlife that gets me, you know. Because uh, I think they said on the news yesterday something like about a third of the koala population they think will have been 
you know, wiped out by it all. And it's just heartbreaking. And, and you, you see I see them on the news where they're coming to people for, to get water out of bottles because, the, you know, they're that thirsty because it's so hot there. And oh, It really gets me, you know, the wildlife, you know, everything from, you know, from the koalas to, you know, little mice. You know everything. It's it's absolutely gutting, and my heart goes out to anybody who's been affected by it. It really does. So if you are in Australia, I hope you're staying safe and staying cool as well. But yeah, all the best for 2020, and I'll see you next year. Bye.